This is Amy Chan from CakeDecoratingSchool.com, and if you like cake decorating, you're in the right place. Welcome to our flower series. In this video, we'll be piping buttercream clover flowers. It's broken down into steps, so you can skip ahead, rewind, and rewatch as desired. For this flower, we're gonna make two colors. The first is gonna be a nice, kind of hmm, somewhere in between purple and pink, maybe kind of like a fuchsia -y shade, and we're using all American-style buttercream. We're going to use the following liquid gel colors, some neon bright pink, red red, violet, lemon yellow, and finally royal blue. So let's get started with our first color. I've got just a little bit of my violet or my purple out over here and I'm going to use a drop each of my neon bright pink, there we go, and my red red, and then just a few little specks of that purple. So just a little bit, because I want a nice kind of vibrant color, and I want it to be that kind of like in-between shade where it's not quite red, <clears throat> not quite pink, and not quite purple. That's looking lovely. I think I just want to bump up the purple just a tiny bit. I like to start with less on this because it's really what's going to kind of drive the color. And I can go a little too close to maybe like burgundy maroon territory if you add too much. So I just like to go a little on the purple first and add more if I feel like it needs it. And this is now a really lovely kind of in-between shade kind of reminds me of like raspberry ice cream, and that's a perfect place to stop. For our next color, we're gonna make a little bit of green, and I'm just gonna do a drop of my yellow, if it cooperates, there we go, and then one of my blue. And we'll mix this around. And you can see we don't need to make much of this, so it's gonna be easy to make a nice vibrant shade of green. with just a little bit of that color. There we go. There you go, you can see it gives us a nice, beautiful, almost I would say like a shade of like Kelly green. And then it'll be a nice contrast against that kind of almost raspberry color that we made for the actual petals of the flower. For this flower, we're going to use two bags. You'll notice our bag of our raspberry pink has a coupler on it and our bag of green does not. For our raspberry color, we're first using a number 12, so a large round opening, and then we'll be using a number two. For our green, we'll be using a number 352. We're now going to review our techniques for our clover. The first is gonna be a tapered dot. So think about building a dot and instead of finishing, pulling up a little bit. This is gonna give us a little bit of extra height and a nice little tapered shape. So we wanna start up off the surface, squeeze a nice dot and then continue to build up just a little bit and take your time because you want it to have a nice little mound shape and for it to kind of taper a tiny bit. So we want the sides to come in. It doesn't have to be perfect. If it's a little lumpy, that's totally fine. Next, we're gonna do some kisses. And you wanna think about these a bit like dots, and they're kind of in between a dot and those spikes that we like to do a lot, especially in the centers of our flowers. So you want to squeeze, build up a dot, and then keep squeezing and pull away. But we wanna make them a little shorter fatter and chunkier. And finally, we're going to do some leaves as sepals. And for this, we're gonna use 352. We're gonna set our bag up like normal, so 45 degrees, one of the points touching, the other one pointing straight up, and we're gonna pull. But instead of pulling along the line of the bag, so pulling at a 45 degree angle, we're gonna pull 
out and across and kind of grazing the surface. So let that leaf build up and pull out. This means the point will be kind of parallel or right along the surface of your nail. Now let's go over how we're gonna combine the techniques we just reviewed to create our blossoms. And this is a simple one, so it should be quick. We're gonna first pipe a little ring of leaves flat on the surface of our nail, and we're just gonna make a little area in the center to build up this little red clover flower. So just think about leaving a void in the middle and pipe a nice little ring of those. It'll probably take about six, but you can always do more or less if needed. Next, we're going to build up that taper dot right there in the center. So just start right in the middle of your little void, pipe a nice dot, and then build it up slowly. And don't worry too much about whether the surface is a little lumpy or awkward. That's totally fine because we're going to cover the entire thing in those little kisses that we practiced on our tray. So we'll change from our 12 tip to our two, and we'll start right at the top, do one, and then just go all the way around, kind of in little concentric circles. You can offset them so we're getting good coverage and just build up those little kisses and pull them all kind of up into that central point. And that'll give us a nice little look of a little tight little red clover blossom that hasn't fully opened up yet. And these are some beautiful, sweet little ways to add a little pop of color and some interest to your cake creations. And they're perfect for summertime or even early spring. We're gonna start piping. We've got our two inch flower nail and I've got a little piece of parchment stuck on there with just a tiny bit of my buttercream. And I'm gonna start with my 352 in my green and I'm just gonna make some of those little leaves we talked about. So right there, touching the surface, pull straight out. And you can see really quickly, if you do them right next to each other, nice small little leaves you can make a nice little ring that has a void in the middle. And yeah, there we go, one more just to fill it in. And it should probably take six to seven of those to work all the way around. I don't want them to be huge, I just want them to kind of be sticking out from underneath and give us a little pop of color there at the base, just to give us a little bit of interest on these flowers. Now I've grabbed my bag with my raspberry pink color. I have it fitted with my number 12 tip and we're gonna do that nice tapered dot. So we wanna start there right in the middle of that void. We wanna be up off the center so that we can let our frosting balloon out and make a nice dot. And when it does, I just wanna pull up slowly until we get that nice tapered shape. When you stop squeezing, you can kind of just swirl it around gently to finish it off. Now I've changed the tip on my bag of raspberry pink to my number two, and I'm gonna start with my kisses. So just right here at the top, do my first one, kind of fat and short. If they get a little wild, you can always kind of clip them off and then just go around and pull towards a nice little center point and then work your way down the side. And sometimes I need to tilt just a little bit. But each one I wanna flick up and towards the center. So I wanna pull along the row that I already did, work around, and you can see it kind of covers up the base of the row before. And then anytime you finish a row, just go down a little more. Work up over the row above it. And pull up and kind of towards the center. And this will give it its overall kind of general shape. And a beautiful little look. Anytime you need to, just clean off the tip of your bag. and just finish up that last row by going right next to the base. It'll cover up some of those little leaves and that's fine. We just want them kind of poking out for a nice little bit of green. 
and that gives us that nice full look of a beautiful little clover flower. So it has a lot of texture to it, but it's actually very easy and very simple. And I did a nice little kind of like in between red pink on these, but you can definitely go more purple and they come in a couple of different lovely shades naturally. But these are just a nice little easy addition to some cakes if you want to put them next to some more complicated flowers that are a wonderful little um, one to kind of practice your skills on just because they're a little bit wild, a little bit free form, and it's a great way to just do some repetitive practice. That's all for this lesson on buttercream clover flowers. If you like this one, try checking out our lesson on daisies. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like more about the cake decorating materials and equipment we use, or just some inspirational videos about cake decorating itself, you can follow us on Insta or YouTube at Cake Decorating School. If you'd like to know more about yearly membership and what it entails, you can go to www.cakedecoratingschool.com for more information. And if you're interested in these products, you can check the links in the description.